Jordan Henderson folks, I feel I have to must revisit yesterday's video and there is a reason for it. Give me one minute and I will explain why. But before I go any further, for those that don't know me and some on here do, some on here are already subscribing, some on here are stepping in and out and having a look, I am a football fan. I am a Manchester United fan. The last thing in the world I am is a Liverpool fan. But I'm an unusual Man United or Liverpool fan in that I respect the other team and I'll say good things about the other team or its personnel when good things are due. I often say it through gr gritted teeth, but I say it's all the same. I did something on Henderson yesterday um, and I thought it'd get a lot more traction with Liverpool fans because I know I've got a few watching the channel now and a few have been pretty supportive and a few have said nice things back to me, probably because I've said certain nice things about certain team members of yours and especially of Oh, Bill Shankly, whom I love dearly. But I did something quickly on Endo yesterday, um, at a time when TalkSport was saying it's almost certain that he's going to go to, is it Qatar, Abu Dhabi, wherever the hell he's going to. Um, anyway, he's going for a big payday, wherever it is. I've heard today, it's, is it 700th hour a week? And I asked Liverpool fans, sports fans in general, but mainly Liverpool fans, how they felt about it. Were they happy for him to go? He's given great service. Were they unhappy? Did they not really understand him going there? Because I, for one, probably don't. I get it, but I don't really understand it. More of that in a moment. But I expected a lot of comment coming back, and I got very little. In fact, the first gent that commented, and very nicely too, said, I don't begrudge him anything. He's been a great servant to the club. And I concur with that. I get that 100%. But I thought there'd be a few out there saying they're not happy. And the reason I'm bringing up this today is I've seen on the internet today, I believe yesterday McManaman came out and had a pop at him for going there. And today, Sooness has. Now, I know some of you, depending on when you grew up supporting Liverpool, I've got some bad things to, to say about Sooness. You know, that I know we made a couple of mistakes when managing your club and whatever else. But I've always liked him. As I say, I'm, I'm weird for a United fan. I've always liked him. I liked him as a player. Hated him but admire what he did and what he could do. I've loved him as a pundit, for all loads have called him. I loved him on his short spell on talks, but as well, I wish it lasted longer. It's one of the best they've had on there. Um, but I tend to listen to what he's got to say. I tend to virtually always agree with it, and I like him. And he came out heavy against Endo today, and I, and I read a couple of things that you as Liverpool fans will know. I didn't know, or I didn't know them properly. Firstly, I questioned yesterday whether he was still active for England or not. Because I only tend to follow the uh, national team when we're in the finals of the the uh, the Europe thing, you know, Europe or the World Cup. I tend to not watch friendly matches. I tend to not watch group games. I watch as when we've qualified. And I thought he was still on the roster there, but I didn't know. It turns out he is. So as I suggested yesterday, I would guess going over there rules him out of England. That's it. I know he's getting on in his age now, but he's ruled himself out with that move. I would suggest. Um, and I knew some people had turned the back on him, you know, many football fans and many Liverpool fans. I didn't get that response yesterday and I'm surprised. But I read these things today and, well, firstly, I believe 60% of all Liverpool fans, 68%, should I say, in a poll, 68% are unhappy that he's going. So that's like 9 on 7 in 10. Well, I didn't get many people telling me that yesterday. In fact, I got none telling me that. And I believe 80% of all football fans are against him going. Now, as a Liverpool fan, which I'm not, I wouldn't worry about them 80% and I'm sure you don't yourselves. You only care about your own people, your own fans, your own club, your, your own players and management. Um, but 68% of Liverpool fans against him going is a pretty high percentage. And I thought it might be reasonably high. But because I got nothing back off yourselves yesterday, I guess maybe it wasn't high after all. But on, on reading further today, I, I know that he's been a vocal supporter of LGBT+. Um a vocal supporter. Um, he's going to a country where not only is anything to do with LGBT plus frowned upon, um, it's not only a country where it's against the law to be homosexual, uh, but it's still one of those countries that not only is it against the law to be homosexual, but the penalty can be death. Um, now, I can't understand how somebody that spoke out or spoke up for LGBT plus could ever dream of going to a country like that where you can be killed for being gay. For all he's earning 700 grand a week, I just cannot see how his conscience can let him do that. I really, really can't. I mean, 
we're all against persecution in the world of the bulk of us are I am myself um, I say in, in the intro video which many of you want to watch because it was done three three and a half months ago when the channel first opened I have views on everything I say to people in it I don't care what religion you are I don't I don't care what sex you are I don't I don't care the colour of your skin doesn't matter to me um, don't care who you support football wise unless it's Liverpool I don't care your sexual preferences or orientation I don't I just don't mind everybody's free to be everybody in my mind what I do mind is somebody telling me what I should think and what I should do and what I should say that I don't go for and if you watch the channel you'll you'll know that these activists were, were to do with gender and to do with just up oil and all this palaver I'm not in bed with all of those people because at the end of the day they're trying to run a narrative and run the country that they see fit and, and do what they want and that's not the way it should be I were brought up with free speech and we all should have that and that's something to be admired but what you are yourself honestly doesn't bother me um, and I'd be all for probably L well I would be for all L LGBT plus whatever it might be rights I'd be for all that but I'm not someone that stands up about it and bangs the drum and talks about it all the time were I that kind of person like I believe Henderson has been I couldn't level it with myself to go over there I just couldn't do it I just I really couldn't do it and now I read that, I cannot for the life of me understand why he's going over there. For all it's 700 grand a week, I cannot understand that, all right, he's probably not going to be first choice for Liverpool anymore. His England career, because of his age, his age was nearly dead in the water anyway. He'd probably be earning, as captain of Liverpool, 120, 150 a week in wages, because he's never been a superstar. I wouldn't think it'd be much more than that. And that 120, 150 a week will probably be taxed. So if it's 150, it's probably 110 after tax. He's going to earn, I think, 700 grand a week over there, no tax or after tax. So he's going to be in 28, nearly three million pound per month. It's it's some it's telephone numbers. But I would say, as I said yesterday, does he need it? I mean, yeah, you can earn a lot more money. Once he retires, he's going to be set up for life, I'm sure, with what he's earned at football, because he's not been a fool. He's not frittered it away, from what I know. So as long as he leads a sensible, decent life, enjoys himself, but doesn't go over the top. I'm sure he's got enough money to last the rest of his life on, although knowing the kind of character he is, I don't think he'd do that. He'd want something else in life. He'd want some kind of work, which I get, but that's only going to add to the money he's already got. But does he need the 700 grand a week? I wouldn't have thought so. I wouldn't have thought so. And if he's going to, for a regime that believe in everything that he doesn't, the complete opposite of what he believes in, why would he do it? Other than just the money. I, I, it, it baffles me so come on football fans but especially Liverpool fans let me know based on what I've just said how do you feel I've had nobody on here say I think I had 30 views on the first one I've had nobody saying I'm gutted he's going I feel let down blah 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 how do you feel if you're a football fan in Liverpool and you're from the LGBT plus community how do you feel how do you feel that he's going there as I say we all have our own views you know, I'm not someone that pushes and pushes and pushes them. Um, but were I, like Henderson has been, and I'm a, a, a vocal supporter, and let people know I've been a vocal supporter, I just couldn't go. I just... I'm surprised he's going. And I'm surprised I didn't get more feedback yesterday. I think maybe I will today after this one, because obviously in the in the thumbnail, in the head, it's going to say McManaman and Sue Ness batter him for going. And I mean, they don't quite batter him, but they're very much against him going. And, and you know, they've put their head above the parapet and let us know that which I like I mean I like people to have views as you all know anyway let me know what you feel bang it in the comments please let's get a bit of a debate going let's see how uh, people in the northwest because I'm only from Warrington actually do feel about him going they may have had polls but I've not conducted the poll and I've had no results off the poll let's have a bit of a um, conflab on here and see what percentage of people are happy with him uh, going and what people are unhappy what percentage of people are unhappy?